What up? It's Jimmy from Odds.com. This is a clip from the big NHL show for Tuesday, January 26th. To check out the entire show, hit the link at the bottom of the screen. It's available exclusively on Odds.com. We move on to the New York Islanders, Washington Capitals. This game pops off at 7 p.m. Eastern. The Islanders opened up at minus 155. There's been a big move uh, towards the Capitals. So we're seeing a minus 135. We're seeing a minus 126 at the leading indicator books. So money coming in on this Capitals team that is playing good hockey. Good hockey without their stars. So they lose these four superstars. And we will get into – why don't we do the Capitals first? They're handling the star, loss of Stars Ovechkin, Kuznetsov, Orlov, starting goalie Samsonov very, very well. Then they lose Wilson who is just extremely important player. I am going to be fading the Capitals here. You don't fade a team their first game when they lose important players. You back them or stay off, and I stayed off. The second game, you start fading them, which I did. I bet the Sabres on the minus one line I pushed. I will fade them in games three and four without these Russian stars who are out due to a COVID break of the rules. I'm also going to be on the team total under for the Capitals when it's available. I'm going to be on the Islanders minus one. That's at plus 117. That's a minus 140 money line and a plus 180 puck line. The under five and a half, I will also be on. The Islanders have gone under in every single game this year. That doesn't look like it's about to change. Under five and a half and minus 125. I thought the loss of Tom Wilson could break the Capitals' backs, and it hasn't. And that's because Backstrom and Oshie are playing so well. Jake Verana playing so well. They've, very, they've really stepped up with these other guys out. But how long can they continue to do this? This Capitals team has impressed me a lot this year. I plan on fading them the next two, two nights. I think this is a great spot with an angry Islanders team. The Capitals' power play, 33.3%, and it hasn't slowed down without Kuznetsov and Ovechkin, and it's because Backstrom and Oshie are playing out of their mind. Penalty killing, 73.9, that's not good enough. This Islanders team, 18.2% power play, 88.2% penalty killing. They are a solid team. Trotz and Lamorello run a tight ship. They've played five games under right now, and with these guys missing from the Capitals lineup, it's a perfect spot to back the Islanders coming off a very disappointing 2-0 loss on Sunday to the New Jersey Devils. Now, the Corsi ratings for this Islander squad are weak. They're light, and it depends how much you look into these Corsi ratings because from the eye test, I've often seen the Islanders as better than their ratings give them. I've also often seen them very undervalued in the marketplace. And I'm a Barzal guy. He's at Coquitlam, out of Coquitlam in Vancouver. And I think he's going to be a key part of Team Canada over the next 10 years. Anders Lee is an underrated forward, but they've scored five goals on five on five so far this year. That's not going to cut it. Their shooting percentage is 6.6%. It can't stay there. They're going to start getting bounces, and I like them here to take care of the Capitals. Minus one at plus 117. That's a minus 140 money line, plus 180 puck line, and the under five and a half is minus 125, and I use the minus one calculator to create that plus 117 line. So if your books don't give you a minus one, it doesn't matter. You can make it yourself.